So over the years, I've had many people ask me about how TJ Maxx and off-price retailing works. One of my roles earlier in my career was to be a sourcing agent for TJX companies, which owns TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, TK Maxx in the UK, HomeSense in Canada, and so on. People think that TJ Maxx offers lower prices on brand name product because the product is somehow irregular or defective. Either the sizing is a bit off, maybe one sleeve is slightly longer than the other, there's a pink dot on a white sweater, that sort of thing. Actually, what TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and so on does is what I would call opportunistic buying. And I've worked with many buyers at TJ Maxx and Marshalls over the years. So here's how it mainly works as far as offering name brands for cheaper prices. Let's use a Ralph Lauren men's dress shirt. Ralph Lauren gets an order, let's say, from Macy's. And I'm just making up this number for half a million units of that particular shirt. Macy's sends Ralph Lauren a purchase order for half a million units. And in turn, Ralph Lauren's operations, sourcing, inventory, and forecasting teams all do their thing and send out purchase orders to their factory, the actual people who are making the shirt. And let's say Macy's decides to revise their order from 500,000 units to 350,000. Even though Ralph Lauren has a purchase order, Macy's is an important customer. And as long as it's early enough, Ralph Lauren will accept that revised purchase order. Now let's say the factory decided to make all 500,000 units at once, even though they will ship them at different dates. So the factory now has excess, finished goods, inventory that they won't be getting paid against. So TJ Maxx and sometimes their sourcing agents on their behalf will get their hands on the additional quantity for a nice discounted cost. The factory is happy, even though they had to accept less, but they're able to push those goods out the door. TJ Maxx is happy since they have a fresh assortment of Ralph Lauren dress shirts that they can, say, sell at a price of approximately $20, maybe $25 less than the price at Macy's. So I'm generalizing here, and there are other scenarios as to how they get name brand inventory. And one more thing you might be interested in knowing, since this seems to happen often. When, for example, you go to Home Goods, their home decor nameplate, and see a picture frame you like, but then go back a few days later and ask about that picture frame and if they have any more in the back, when they say that they don't, they actually don't. The way that TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods does their product allocation, especially on home products, is probably only two to three units per store. That's right, only two to three units. They like to call their store experience a treasure chest and helps train the customer that when they see something they like, they better buy it that day since there's a good chance it won't be there tomorrow. And that's part of their secret sauce. So send me your comments and questions and each week you'll get a chance to win a copy of one of my books, your choice, either my book on presentation skills or business writing skills.